This actually has a microscopic camera, so you can see I'm focusing here on my hair. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Flash here. So today I have uh, with me a flagship contender, and the reason why I'm calling this a flagship contender is because this is right up there with the big hitters, including the Samsung S22 Ultra. And I'm gonna actually be comparing it to that because this is a real contender for Samsung as well when it comes to the specs at least. This is the GT2 Pro uh, brought to you by Realme. And this is what I call or what we call a designer phone. And I'll get to that in a minute. Looking at the box, we can quickly see some of the details here and some of the specs. It comes with a 2K super reality display. It has a paper tech master design, which is basically the main highlight of this phone. It comes with Snapdragon's latest eighth gen one processor and also we we have uh, a very cool 50 megapixel Sony IMX camera plus 50 megapixel dual primary camera and also a macro camera in this. Looking at the specs, we have 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. And uh, it comes in the paper white edition, which is, I think, the best color for this phone. And uh, I'll get to that in a minute as well. Opening up the box, we can see here the regular paperwork, Realme quick guide, and also the SIM ejector pin. And right after that, we get right into the phone, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, before that, let's go ahead and open up the rest of the box. And I'm glad to report that we do have a very high quality silicon case with this phone, but I'm actually against it. Um, and that is because this silicon case actually defeats the purpose of what this phone was designed for. Um, looking further into the box, this does come with Realme's signature Super Dart Faster, which is a 67 watt fast charger, which is supposed to charge the 5000 milliampere battery within 33 minutes. We get the cable as well here, which is a USB-C to regular USB. Now, coming back to the design of this phone, as I mentioned, this is a designer phone. You can even see here the name of the designer, which is Naoto Fukusawa. And you might be familiar with the name because he actually designed a phone that Realme launched last year, which was called the Realme GT Master Edition. That phone was uh, designed or inspired after a fancy piece of luggage. And this one is actually inspired by paper. Yes, you actually heard that right. This, the look and feel of the back here actually mimics paper and that is what the whole purpose of this phone is and that's what I like about Realme and especially the design behind this because what they could have done is just taken inspiration from the previous phone and copy pasted it and put it here but they actually decided to go into a completely different direction and come up with a completely unique design which is paper. When I opened it up and I held it in my, in my hands for the first time I really didn't know what it was but once they told me that this is actually designed um, to mimic paper, it immediately started to feel like paper. So I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but if you ever get your hands on it, try it out and you'll know what I'm talking about. And if I run my fingers across, it's very slightly patterned and it's it's not really a hard texture. It's, it's not even a soft texture. I really don't know how to describe it. You actually have to feel it in your hands to find out what I'm talking about. But if you run your finger across paper, this is exactly what it feels like. For example, we have a little bit of cardboard here. This and this is exactly the same feeling. I don't feel any difference in both of them so um, it's a, it's a very unique uh, design and it's not only cool looking but the purpose behind this was also to reduce waste so they used a bio polymer that was uh, supposed to mimic paper but it, it also is very environmentally friendly so it reduces the carbon footprint so we're not um, just making a really cool looking phone here we're also saving the environment which again is also really cool looking at the rest of the phone we have the volume rocker here on the side we have the um, USB-C port, we have our speaker and we have our SIM ejector pin. Now let's go ahead and open that up and see if it actually supports two SIMs or not. And yeah, this is actually a dual SIM setup, which I'm glad to report, although we don't have any external storage with this. On this side, we have the power button, which is, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this is also a little bit textured. So it's not really like flat, it's, uh, it's slightly textured. Uh, for more grip, which I really like as well. Now, coming back to the cameras, we have a triple camera setup. Now, as mentioned in the box, we have two 50 megapixel cameras, one main, and the second one is also a uh, or 50 megapixel camera, which is capable of a very wide 150 degree field of view, which also gives you fish eye uh, photos. And then we have a third camera, which can also be used as a macro camera. Coming to the front of the phone, looking at the design, this is a 6.7 inch LTPO2 AMOLED display, and we have a punch hole design camera 
camera so no notch which i really like you can also see from this wallpaper that it highlights the bezel so we have a really uniform bezel it's not really too thick which is another thing that i really like this is a uh, adaptive display with 120 hertz and um, you can actually adjust it to be fixed at 120 hertz or you can also put it in adaptive mode which will change the frequency of the display depending on what you're browsing and uh, by altipio um, i should explain that a little bit more um, that actually means uh, it can actually go from one hertz and up to 120 hertz really depending on what you're browsing here kind of like what we saw with the iPhone where it was going down to 10 hertz and then up to 120 hertz really depending on what you're doing uh, when it comes to the pixel density this has actually um, a little bit more of a better display than Samsung I would say I think this is about 520 or 526 pixels per inch which is slightly more than the Samsung S22 Ultra which is at 500 uh, which is why I mentioned that this is a flagship contender it's right up there and if we talk now about the performance this actually comes with Snapdragon's latest 8th gen 1 Pro Processor. I actually ran some N2 to benchmark numbers and this has a score of about 955,900 points which is really near to a million and if you compare this to the Samsung S22 Ultra that is also right at about the same range. I think that was about 960,000. So really not much of a difference. You're getting almost the same quality performance out of this. And um, I think the display, I personally think the display on this one is much, much better than Samsung. And another thing that I wanted to mention is that a lot of the times, if you look at the trend nowadays, most of the phones are designed with the same two things. It's a glass front, glass back and aluminum sides so one of the things that i like about realme is that they're doing things differently as i mentioned this is not your everyday phone this is a designer phone which was designed specifically keeping one thing in mind and that is the unique thing about this and so uh, looking at the price point as well if you compare it to, to samsung's s22 ultra this is actually going to give you more value for money because this is at about 700 dollars, especially with the unit that we have at 12 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of internal storage i'm um, talking about the battery again we have a massive 5000 milliampere battery which should last you all day and especially with this super dart uh, fast charger at 67 watts it is supposed to charge your phone from 0 to 100 percent in about 33 minutes another unique thing that, that as i mentioned actually this has i don't know if you guys can really see that but um, i'm gonna go ahead and zoom up here a little bit and uh, this as i mentioned this actually has a microscopic camera so you can see i'm focusing here on my hair not the most pleasing thing to look at but i just want to show you guys an example of the the microscope and you can actually zoom even more into that which um which, which, look look at that detail look at my hair oh my god that is really weird <laughs> okay i'm gonna i'm gonna put it up against some fabric now oh yeah there we go you guys can see that Oh wow, that's 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 really cool. I that's really unique. So yeah, this actually has a oh you can see the both of the LEDs are turned on here. I actually just noticed that this has two LEDs. So they're being used for um, the microscopic camera here. And as I mentioned, this has a 50 megapixel camera as a main. It has another 50 megapixel camera that has 150 uh, wide field of view, which can also be used to take fish eye. Um, or fish lens photos whatever you guys want to call it so yeah let me know guys what you think about this um i honestly really really prefer this to samsung and which is why i call this a flagship contender this price point at about 700 dollars, i think it's worth every penny let me know down in the comments below what you like about this phone and honestly and yeah and one more thing that i want to mention is that this actually comes in a couple of colors so apart from this paper white color it comes in a paper green color it comes in a midnight um blue color i think as well but I think uh, it, uh, the white one does justice to it because mimicking paper white is the best, at least visually, it's the best uh, color to go with. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, consider subscribing for more similar videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.